welcome back or to the channel if you are new my name is t and i am kind of doing like a mini vlog this week so you may have seen like little clips of me reading library trips coffee um i decided to do a different type of vlog this week but i wanted to come on and talk to you guys about the book that i've been reading which i left over there okay, one second back. So it is The Love Script by Tony Shallow. Um, and this is so good. I'm trying out this little mini mic thing. So I'm super excited about that. Kind of minimize the um, background sounds. So super excited about that. But this book is so good. The Love Script by Tony Shallow. I am on page 147. So I'm almost halfway there. There's like 300 and 329 pages before we get to the epilogue. So super excited about that. I got to figure out how to position this because I can't hold this the whole time. But anyway, so, so far we're following um, is dual points of view. We have Nevaeh and we have a Lamont Booker. Um, and it is a celebrity romance. And I don't know if this is a second chance romance. I wouldn't call it that. Maybe there's some elements, but it's definitely a clean Christian. Um, they basically end up in a situation where um, uh, Lamont and Nevaeh are caught in a position of they look like they're dating and he's a Christian and he's like, I have to uphold my Christian standards, right? Um, so people are like, oh my goodness, are you being intimate with this girl and blah, blah, blah. And like the media is crucifying him and um so they decide to go for fake dating but i'm getting to the point to where they're really starting to develop feelings for each other i do like that instead of fake dating because they wanted to glorify god and not even lie i do appreciate the fact that the author sony shiloh that she's like let's have them actually date so they're actually dating for real so that they're not lying um, and this is just super cute. I also went to the library, so I'll have a separate video with a library haul, um, like a recent book haul, library haul. I am on a book by a band, but I do have access to free books, so there's that. Um, but yeah, I am going to read a little bit more. I have a few things to do, and I will pop in with updates. I'm hoping to get this done tonight, um, so I will pop in with updates as I go. But yeah, I just thought... Since you guys haven't seen me yet, <laughs> I will pop on and kind of tell you what's going on. But this book, so far, I, so my prediction is that it's going to be a four and a half star. That's my prediction. It's four and a half. I've seen so many four and five stars, so I feel like I'm going to fall right in the middle of four and a half. So super excited. I love to see the um, brown skin beauty on the cover in our um handsome brown skin guy on the cover so I do love to see that um I also typically don't like books with people like covers with people on them but I feel like the illustrator or the graphic person graphic designer I feel like they did a good job based on how she's describing the characters I feel like they did they like nailed it spot on so yeah I'm super excited to finish reading this and I will talk to y'all in a bit with an update so basically what is a vlog without me being in the car right at this point um i am home happy sunday i just got home from out of church and running some errands and I am almost done with the love script it's taken me a little bit longer just because I've been kind of busy this week but I am about a hundred pages I have about a hundred hundred and twenty pages left and I'm so excited um it's getting really good I'll give wait you guys my full review until I'm done um but yeah I'm really enjoying it and I hope Hey guys, it is Thursday morning and I am on the morning walk and this vlog has just kind of gotten away from me so I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. 
um yeah so i finished um the love script and i loved it so much i gave it four and a half as anticipated i have to do a separate video discussing my thoughts on it um just because i have all these clips and i'm like just put them together and put it out there so um yeah and then i started the pearls in his hair by tasha abstar but i put it down for now because paperbacks and ponytail is going to be doing a live discussing it at the end of the month so i want to wait until i'm like fully prepared like to read it so i can take notes and stuff um, but I did start Daughters of Eden um, by Rosie Lee. And it's a biblical retelling, basically. Like, it's like a contemporary biblical re retelling, and I'm liking it so far. So, good for her, good on that. Um, it's a pretty quick read. I think my Kindle said I'd be done in like four hours. So, I'll probably finish that today. But, yeah, I'm going to do a separate video on the love script and all of my thoughts but it was definitely a four and a half star, but I'm gonna do a book review for it because it's too good not to. Um, yeah, I think I'll do a book review of my two favorite books so far this month. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this ramble. <laughs> Let's call it a ramble. Um, yeah, and I will talk to y'all in the next video. Bye guys.